in this geography lecture we are focusing on season cycle on earth we are going to discuss this lecture in two format or two part first one is general and second is in detail so first we are going to discuss this format in general try to understand the concept first and then we are going in details of it now general format first now it is very clear for us that earth is revolving around sun initially we were considering this as circular path and in childhood also you must have heard about this but uh, higher knowledge says the path of earth around sun is not circular one not even planets because kepler showed that these all planets are revolving around sun in elliptical orbital and not in circular so now your concept must be clear that earth is revolving around sun in elliptical orbital little bit elliptical what is ellipse it is somewhat elongated circle so in case of circle say my drawing is not perfect but imagine this is circle this is center of circle this line i am drawing here this line is called as diameter of circle diameter of circle is constant from any way you observe any way diameter is line passing through center and touching out circumference that is diameter all diameter are having equal length then they are called as circle but in case of ellipse it is somewhat extended one this is not perfect ellipse but imagine there are two diameters suppose they are not diameter they are called as major axis and minor axis so this is the major axis this is the minor axis so like that two axis are different here circle is in geometry we are considering a special types of ellipse where length of major axis and minor axis is same then it is called as circle but otherwise in case of ellipse two different axis are there don't consider that sun's position at center sun is somewhere here not exactly at center and earth is moving around it in this orbital path so this way the motion of earth is there around the sun now its view i hope uh, that this view is clear for you that sun is not at center uh, this was old view sun is at center and earth is revolving around it in circular or orbital but no practically speaking this diagram you should consider to great extent now while moving sometime earth is going very very close to sun the distance between sun and earth is minimum and sometime earth is going very very away from sun very far away from sun so this is maximum distance if earth is moving very close to sun then that position we are calling mm. as perihelion position peri is in vicinity meaning of peri world is vicinity helus that is sun perihelion in the vicinity of sun so if earth is very close to sun we are calling that as perihelion position if earth is away from sun then that position is called as aphelion position so try to get two positions uh, of earth around sun that is perihelion position and aphelion position in case of perihelion position sun uh, earth is very close to sun aphelion position earth is away from sun so perihelion and aphelion orbital elliptical orbital concepts are clear now dates etc we are going to discuss in detail level 
Now, Earth is having rotational motion also. I have to introduce now that concept. Now, here I am not drawing in proportional concept, but uh, the drawing is rather improportional. This is sun. This is earth. I am mentioning here sun. This is earth. Now, this is the plane. This is the plane in which earth is revolving around sun. Say, here we have to consider the path of earth is something like this. So, try to get this type of path. But this is the plane in which earth is revolving around sun. Imagine sun is much much more bigger than earth. Just imagine suppose this is a sun. The size of earth I should show is something like this. So, earth is this much smaller. But in order to explain certain concepts or ideas. Okay, all right. Uh, if uh, we have to uh, avoid the confusion, I may say this way. This is the side of sun. All right. So now it is clear this side sun, very, very large, whereas this is earth. This is a plane in which earth is revolving around sun. Sun rays are traveling in this direction. Now it is obvious that if you observe from side view, I am making this line that sun rays will reach on only this part. On this part, sun rays will not reach. This is dark part, whereas this is daytime part or lighted part. So, actually, now you can imagine I am writing here D. D stands for dark part and not day and this is lighter part. Now earth is revolving in this way. No. The problem is that earth is not revolving on this axis. Do not consider this line as axis. Earth is slightly tilted. Tilted means this way oblique. Uh, you are aware of shape oblique. So like that and so with blue color line I am drawing here that line. You will get this is the axis. Earth is rotating like this. So, this way I have to show. So, this is the direction in which earth will rotate around it. For this denite line, this axis is making an angle that angle is 23 and half degree getting idea so this angle is 23 and half degree suppose i have extended this line then this will go straight away to the pole star you are aware of pole star that we can locate it with help of great bear so, this line if suppose I extended it will go straight to pole star. Now, this is 23 and half angle. So, what is remaining angle over here that is 66 and half because total this should be 90. This is the plane in which earth is revolving around sun whereas this is the day night line. Try to understand concept here because with reference to this concept only we can able to discuss the season cycle how seasons are formed for that purpose.